Welcome guys, today's topic will be gaming logo design and icons always will be the first thing your player will see before play. After done Poké app, I'm gonna design a personal gaming logo. Let's get started. So I believe it would be nice to show in few steps how to make Pokemon Go logo design, right? I will begin with an ellipse as usual. Now we will convert it to Pi. This is the first step of our Pokeball, okay? Just given a simple stroke. Duplicating. Flip. And move the top. Let's color this piece to red. Uh, very easy, right? Now, go add a rectangle to the center. Paint to black. Look, pretty simple, right? Now, we're gonna add a sphere on the center. After we add a circle in the center, we can change the stroke. See? The top stroke is more orange than red. We need to change. Now we need to add a circle into the red shape. We use a gradient tool for light. Just turn on transparency tool and apply. Adjust we have done top side. Let's work on bottom side. Edge gradient tool. Just make sure your color stroke is activated. Blue to to white in the stroke, right? It's very simple to do this. Uh, very easy, right? For now, I'm going to group them and to resize this to create uh, the background of this logo. Now select draw behind. We're gonna add a background rectangle as preference. For this background, I will use a rectangle and convert the edges to rounded rounded corners apply gradient color blue dark to light blue it's fine just make sure your logo is aligned to the background okay okay I'm gonna use a lips to draw to the part of the bottom and it's really important to add the ultra glow. If you see the, the Pokemon logo icon, you can see this kind of effects. It's really nice to use pencil tool to make some kind of lines and uh, I like to convert it after this to, to path, right? Be sure to correct your shape, right? Using move pencil tool, move tool, I don't know. For now, I'm going to, to draw all the stars for the background. I'm gonna use a kind of brush spray that. I don't know if it's correct for this one, 
let's try and of course I change this to white color and begin to draw the stars to the background and the magic is again the effects and the glow up to make a kind of shiny effect let's add a star shape for this particular piece I'm gonna to design a star right special star with four points and apply outer glow again as you can see it's really nice to use these forms to create some kind of shapes that give you to your design much more realism as a transparency tool easy as you can see duplicate and drag to top change a little bit you can change other glow color it's perfect Group them and hide. Let's begin to develop our new logo. I'll begin this time with a rectangle and cover it to round corners, giving just a kind of color, green color. And I will apply a card. Change this property to kind of sun, ray sun, I mean. I think it's very nice if you use uh, study, uh, game logo design for Google Play. You see a lot of games that use these effects that can give you, you more attractive elements for the players. Okay, I'm going to insert my character I've done in the last video. And flip, are you gonna use this character? You can use your character if you have, okay? And this time I'm going to adjust this, his pose, his expression for, to make this more, much more attractive, right? This time I'm going to apply a gradient tool to the background I'm gonna use the green to yellow. I think he's much more uh, the type of the character. Okay, and now I'm going to use Ultra Glow to make a lighten back of the character. I have an idea to create a new thing here. For this logo, I want to add a kind of action. I don't want this head flying here for nothing, so I have an idea. I'll create an axe, good, creating a simple shape using pencil to turn off stroke. I'm gonna use this axe for make a kind of cutting this head. Oh my god, this is very violent. <laughs> I don't care about it. So let's make a cool logo design. For this one, I'm converted to pixel persona is allow me to create a brush that can create a digital painting with blood adding blood to to the axe I, I like to use razor to to define some format of paintings it's really nice to do it and for now I'm going to apply a blood for his head I think this will be very nice to do it Okay, I'm going to create a new layer here and for now 
I will spread out some blood. I think this will be very nice. I will group and apply an shadow. And another effect is Gaussian Blur to give me a sense of movement, you know. And apply Gaussian Blur to the axe to give you another sense of movement. It's, it's very nice, as you can see. I think we have done. And uh, let's apply a stroke just for a fancy, fancy way. Okay. I bring this top because logo icons is very important. When you're looking for a game, the first thing you see is the logo icon. So you can follow me on Instagram to ask me anything about art game design. Please subscribe to see more. Okay, bye bye.